So it's been a little more than a year since the African American Studies program at Wake Forest University started. Dr. Corey D.B. Walker built this first of its kind program from the ground up. In this week's In Black and White, Jordan Brown shows us how the program's success so far has Professor Walker looking at ways to expand it. Jordan? That's right. When we first introduced you to this program at the beginning of this year, it was still brand new, just entering its second semester of classes. Now we're taking another look more than a year since the launch to see not only what students are learning from Professor Walker, but what he's learning from them as well. And of course, it destabilizes this idea of blackness being absolutely tethered to Africa. Provoking new thought and providing deeper context to world issues was Dr. Corey D.B. Walker's goal when crafting Wake Forest University's first ever African American Studies program more than a year ago. We've been able to put together, I think, a signature program here at Wake Forest University. Uh, it really embodies uh, our university's motto of pro humanitate. And most importantly, it enables our students to really gain a 21st century liberal arts education to deal with the complexities that we face uh, throughout our world. Since the program's launch in June of 2021, students from all backgrounds have been able to absorb Dr. Walker's teachings, learning how African American studies connects to different aspects of daily life. Without question, we are all black Americans. And the response has been positive so far. So far, I've really, really enjoyed it. Going in, I had this whole uh, predetermined notion of what I thought African American studies would be, and the class has completely debunked that, but in like a really great way. Um, I've learned a lot more about um, how to think analytically, more so than just reading, just to kind of get content out of it. And our students really want more African American studies. They really want to begin to look at the African diaspora. They want to look at the largest country of Africans in the Americas, Brazil. Uh, they want to begin to critically engage uh, the global conditions around environmental justice. Uh, they really want to respond to the pressing issues uh, around deep political antagonisms in our world. Dr. Walker's classes are as colorful as his teaching style. And whether you're white, black, or otherwise, students say there's something new everyone can learn here. The challenges of one way of being black. My family especially, sometimes they don't get why I chose to like pursue a minor in African American studies or why I'm looking at PhD programs in it um, because they don't think it directly affects me. But I think having those conversations with them and explaining why I find it important um, really just helps, you know, it helps me and it helps them. These are the kinds of conversations Dr. Walker was hoping to start ones that challenge his students and encourage them to apply their new knowledge to real world problems. I've definitely seen how I can apply the things that we've learned in African American studies to even my other classes, um, as well as just how to navigate life as an African American uh, woman in America. It's interesting expanding beyond like the white Western framework of the university. I think that's the main kind of draw for me towards African American studies. The program has had one graduate and more are coming in May. We're excited about uh, the majors and minors that are coming along with us uh, in this journey. So that's really exciting. I think there are opportunities for us to grow. The one thing this professor didn't know when he was crafting this curriculum is what he would learn himself. Our students inspire me. They also uh, enable me to go forward uh, in ways that I may not have imagined before. Dr. Walker says the program is thriving and he and other faculty are looking at ways to expand into other areas like environmental justice.